Good morning. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Face is really, really big there. I don't know how I feel about my face always being that big. I just feel like it's too big. That's a little more appropriate, but then you can't really see the Warhammer thing. Of course, I'm wearing a white shirt today, so that doesn't... Maybe I could... Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Can't see Total War. I got to figure out how to do that. I could probably move stuff around. Oh, no. Why is it, why is it continuing? Oh, no. There you go. It's stuck. We'll just stop it. There we go. <laughs> All right. Today, we are going to... We're going to dive into Thorex campaign. Uh, everyone pretty much launched all their Torox and other things yesterday, which was cool to see. But... Uh, I really didn't feel like uploading anything for that. And uh, it's a pretty good reason for it. We have like 50 partners. Also, my beard's really weird today. We've got like 50 plus partners in the program at the moment, uh, and they all get early access just like I do. So what I've worked on, uh, this is kind of a mental thing myself, is that I'm focusing not so much on hitting embargoes, for Total War because there's just like yesterday's embargo was we can do basically anything we want with Torox or Oxyodal, whatever the other person's name is. But the deal with that is there's only four scenarios in which you can do it. You can do each of those from the Mortal Empires campaign or the Eye of the Vortex. Uh, and when you have 50 partners, who, uh, for the most part, all do Let's Plays in some form or another. There's a lot of redundancy uh, in that. So, uh, to drown, and plus, there's like three main channels that soak up a majority of the views for any embargo stuff related to Warhammer 2, uh, which is, um, it's, not a, it's not an issue for me. They really just focus their channels on it, which is completely fine. Uh, fine, I don't have any issues with it. But uh, it, it makes releasing content for Warhammer on the embargo days nearly impossible and 100% not worth it. Uh, which again, they've, they've worked their butts off to make that happen. So <clears throat> I'm not uh, jealous. It's just I didn't release anything. I probably won't release, any I won't release anything today. But uh, I probably will release something in the next couple of days. I'm not worried about embargoes when it comes to Total War because uh it, i know i just won't get the views it would release i would basically release content just to because it's what i want to do not because i'm limited by an embargo uh that being said the review for it goes out i think on 13th 16th and i'll probably do a review for that because i'm going through a torox campaign right now uh, it is really interesting. It's really interesting. Uh, it is convoluted, to uh, for lack of a better word. Um, I'm not entirely thrilled with it, just because it seems like there's a lot of unnecessary content for them. Uh, but we'll go ahead and slap into a Warhammer 2 campaign. I don't really have much else to say about that, or anything else really. It's kind of been slow in the news of in the news of world, and the world of uh, gaming news outside of uh, Warhammer, or not Warhammer, the uh, new Switch. But how you doing, Nexus? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here. We're going to jump right into the campaign because I want to see if I can't get Thorek done today. And look at that, Radis is in here too. Welcome, boys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go into Iron Brows Expedition, stream, we're at turn 45. 
<clears throat> and I honestly don't remember much of what we're doing. I do know we're trying to push north. And I think we got our second army in. I think that's about where we're at. But, uh, yeah. We're going to wait. You're going to have to, you're going to have to hang out with me until we... Just want to make sure it works. By the way, this is over here. Should fix it. There we go. All right. So, in the last episode, uh, we took the mouth of Curvessa. Because we went to war with, who are these guys? The Itza. That's right, because they have... Of regions that we want so we need to go down to great forge I really want to get oh that's right we did get the yoked carnosaur can I can I recruit that I don't get it sorry back my mic so we did it but maybe I don't get it until the next one just done with my own streams so it's good timing well perfect awesome how'd your stream go by the way bud Hopefully it went well. Uh, growth. Masters of Steel and Stone. Interlocking Shields. Shields would actually be really good. <clears throat> Rangers, Corlers, and Thunders. This would be pretty good. Uh, let's go with that. So we also have two giant swarms of uh, Skaven here. And we only have Gotrick and Felix for... Six more turns. Okay. That should be okay. Let's go there. Went fine. A few peeps stopped by. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're making okay money. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad. Uh, do we have a third army? We Oh, we do. Where are they at? They're down south. That's right. We went in... Uh, Took the dust gate to fulfill this province and then did that. And then uh, we're at war with the blessed, blessed dread. Okay, so this should be a pretty fun battle coming up. There's my... I can't afford him anyways. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's cancel that. Get my money back. Uh, who do we want to have go away? Honestly, we could probably get some Slayers to go away. Give them Das Boot. And then we'll get my Yoked Carnosaur. Alright. Yes! Brilliant! I'm excited. I am excited. Let's go ahead and just end the turn. Hooey! Radis, are you excited for this? Are you excited for this DLC? You best pre-order this DLC through my Nexus or I'm going to get very upset. Uh, if we auto-resolved, those are the only guys. I still want to fight it. I want to fight it myself. Uh, we've got all the runes down. We'll fight the battle. Oh, you can't buy it. That's right. That's right. That's stupid. <laughs> That's very dumb. Uh, you just need to uh, go through a VPN. Uh, this is going to be quite the battle as well. They have a couple of... Uh, they've got quite a bit of ranged infantry, actually. Uh, we sacrifice. Let's see. We could... Sacrifice those guys. We got our front line. We have our our flanks. Longbeards are great weapons. Let's actually slap you right in the front to take the brunt of the of the of the things. And then we have our Iron Breakers and our Slayers. We'll go ahead and slap those on that side. 
I may throw the Slayers at the Warp Lightning Cannons, and I need them over there. Who do I want to put over here? Let's actually throw these guys over here. We got our Grudge Throwers. Oh, look at this beastie boy. That's right. That's right. You're mine. Uh, we could uh, do them at the Doom Flayers. That would actually be pretty smart. Watch the Titan Spartacus video on it. Learned a lot about the Dwarves' new content. There's a lot to it. It is pretty crazy. And I really, really like it. And then we this is our first battle, I think, with uh, Thoric. Oh, no, it's not. We've had him on this before. Long beards. All right, we got these two guys. Start the battle. Go there. Go after the warp lightning quick. Kill the warp lightning. Fine, go after the rattling guns. No! We are getting reinforcements, though. Now, albeit they are just miners, but uh, every little bit helps. And we need those poison wind mortars real bad. We need those guys wiped. Let's go after those. Go trick and uh, you guys, you guys have fun. Let's go that way. All right, those guys have already been routed, which isn't really that surprising. Golly, I really need to go after those. Those Doom Flayers as well. All right, let's get uh, Big Boy in there. Let's push up. I really don't want my Carno to die. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what we need to do. Let's go ahead and uh, get that flank over there. Let's get you on that Doom Flayer. They're actually holding out over here pretty spectacularly well. It's terrifying. And they have two Doom Wheels. Uh, we haven't really done anything. Okay, let's actually, like, play, shall we? You can come into there. You're doing good. And then... Come over this way. Let's, uh, uh... We'll go after the Warp Fire Throwers. We'll send you three over to the Rattling Guns. Send you three over onto that flank. Our Dwarf with great weapons are, of course, getting wrecked. We're losing a lot. This is a very complicated battle for me apparently let's get uh this boyo sweet we have uh wrecked a boy let's go over into here icarno is alive and well let's go ahead and send him after those poison wind mortars and we can start flanking finally get all those rattling guns go trick and felix probably aren't going to yeah i know it's the runes that i keep uh freaking forgetting about a boom I probably should just turn off guard mode at this point of uh, my playthroughs with Warhammer because I think they're doing me more harm than good what's up did all of your guys get wrecked you didn't you're just not paying attention go trick out over there Felix here we go. Get you two guys over there. Golly, get after those things. We've really got it. It's those. It's the the ranged that always decimate us against these Skaven, and I need to upgrade my ranged. Tried streaming Warhammer Two the other day, but OBS would not have it. Why? What was it?
Warriors are rallying. Huzzah. Well, that was a complete and utter disaster. That was bad. That was real bad. Friggin' Skaven, man. Yeah, I, I, I botched that really, really hard. Kill as many boyos as you can. Kill all the Skaven things. Kill all the Skaven things. It was not a decisive victory. I was not proud of that one. Slayers got wiped. Ugh, yeah, a warm up. Yeah, that was that was nasty. We just lost way too many soldiers. Way too many. Let's uh let's go with the uh, drink to victory. That's gonna help us. The rite of awakening's been performed. A stranger comes. We are gonna safeguard, of course. Enemy killed in battle. Defeat the following lord. Oh, nice. Casualty replenishment rate plus eighty percent all armies. Uh, I will take it. Veteran anvil guard. Great Locus of Power. Enemy casters within range suffer minor miscast explosion. That's really cool. We're going to go with Lightning Strike. That's going to help me, I feel. Um, Man, I really need some friggin' Thunders. Send me a champion. Passage. We could go after these guys. Stupid, stupid. And those Doom Flayers really... Oh my word, he has two armies of them. Good lord, son. Okay, we need to... Move this way. They have another piece of something or another that we need to work on. Let's get exotic animal pins. It's going to boost our economy. We can boost growth here. Let's upgrade that. There we go. Lord hasn't moved. Yes, I know. What if we Always are best. Let's see, I'd rather not lose the long beards, but I still feel like we could take these guys on and maybe get back before Only oh, lost 242. I'm gonna take that. Simply because I don't want to fight that battle again and then immediately have to take on that dude because that's probably what's gonna happen in the end turn. I don't want to fight two back to back battles like that. Let's go with Exacting standards. Your success chance. Passive ability. The master room of Stromni. That might be nice. Forge fire sounds really awesome. There's so many things. Melee defense for dwarf warriors, long beards, and miners, corlers, bolt throwers, iron drakes. Go with axe lord. There's so many things to choose from. Okay, uh, here we can. We got down that to where he's immune. We're not fighting against greenskins right now, so that doesn't matter. The Rune of Slowness would be nice. Oh, 
that's a ward save against an ally. I guess we'll do sharpened weapons. Round that one off. Alright, let's see if Skaven decides to attack us again. They didn't. Okay. That works for me. Just kidding. They did. Oh, uh, if I automatically did that, I would lose quite a few soldiers. It would be very painful. Bonus versus infantry. Slap that down there. Huh. They pretty much got the exact same setup. Don't forget to add your room banners. Yeah. I've got all of them up and running. Maybe I can handle this a little bit better. Let's go ahead and fight it. They attacked me. So I may be able to just uh, scoot back, let my reinforcements come in. I'm not so caring about those miners because they are about to... Um, they are about to get... What's the word I'm thinking of? Gotrick and Felix are almost done. So I, I'm assuming they just kind of go away. I don't know. Let's get them... Right here, but also protect them. Got my Carno. Miners. There we go. There we go. Knock them out, boys. All right. Uh, you. You, you, you. <clears throat> uh, the Doom Wheel. An army ability to spawn an enemy unit. Well, die, Gummit. Three. Oh, he disappeared. No. All of you, we are going to turn that off. Dang it. The poison wind mortars. Let's go ahead and just have them attack the dune wheels. Still feel like that would be a worthwhile investment. Move along. Oh my word, they just keep spawning those same units. Okie dokie, well. Can I only do it to him? A lord or a hero? Get that doom wheel, please. Kill the doom wheel. Uh, can I get up to here? You. Focus fire. Let's get you. Let's get our, uh, not rune of speed, rune of wrath and ruin. An 
And then I need to get you into battle desperately. Where's the Doom Wheel at? There's the Doom Flayers. Let's actually have him do this. We're going to buff armor. And I'm going to... Oh, that applies to him. Okay, so we should be able to take that thing out. Number three. Let's go ahead and go after those Warp Lightning Throwers. You're going to flank. Let's get our Dwarf Warriors into combat now. Because that's going to be pretty important. And then let's flank these guys around the edge. Sweet. Iron Breakers. We need to go after those Doom Flayers. And then we can start throwing these guys into combat. Unfortunately, I don't have really an ability to flank. Uh, you guys can come back and you can still interact in the battle. Oh, I forgot about my car note. Dadgummit. Mr. Carno, why don't you come this way? And we'll go take on those warp fire throwers. And or the rattling guns. Come around over here, get those poison wind mortars. It's a nice wrath and ruin blob. I know. Let me see if I can't get it going. Is he close enough? Oh, no, he's not close enough. Uh, what about you? You are close enough. Quickly. Faster, faster, faster would be better. Runesmith! Can you do it? Oh, not yet, not yet. We're gonna, we're gonna watch this. You ready? You ready? You ready? There goes the rune. A boom! Nice. I rather enjoyed that. And okay, we routed those guys. That pretty much like routed their entire flank too. It's good. It's what we needed. The clans unite! And we've still got guys back here doing who knows what. On one side, nice as a Skaven player. Ouch. <laughs> oh, there's uh, there's one of their heroes. Okay. Let's go here. Let's move up and take on those clan spears. We're going to take on those warp fire throwers. We really need to take on those wind mortars. Move on over to this way. Could you like do something, please? Move on up. Go trick. Chasing after fancy fairy tales. Or Felix, excuse me. I think they are officially. Yeah, they're all going to start routing. Fantastic. It's good news for us. Uh, I need to, to chase. Units down. Let's get you. Oh, nice. Enemy Lord's dead. That's what we needed. Let's get Mr. Carno to chase after those guys. Mr. Carno, can you please? Can you please listen? He's terrible. Hey, Havoc, sorry I'm late. Was mesmerized by the CA stream of the Sweaty and the Furry reveal. <laughs> yeah, that isn't uh, Great Book of Grudges. And Colonel, uh, Colonel uh, Damnadiers. They're doing like a head-to-head -head thing. Which is pretty funny. All right. There we go. But how you doing, Specius? Enemy killed. Ick bolt. 
And we can push them as well. Thoric's a level 18 at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and push the melee. That gives us melee defense and melee offense. For all of our troops. Uh, charge bonus, missile resistance. I don't want to do the rune of breaking. I guess we could do the rune of negation, and especially against like these boyos, it'd be worth it. If you want something done right, so it's war. Good. Income from gem cutters and obsidian quarries, brave charge and leadership bonuses, faction destroyed the Skaven. Fantastic. I wish this stacked. It's dumb that it doesn't stack. I don't agree with that. Fine, heat wave is back, so probably won't be for long. Yep, I understand that completely. Hopefully you don't get too overheated, my friend. No. 10% uh, melee attack. 10% armor piercing weapon damage. Yeah, let's do that one. Rune Lord. Of Rune Lord. Okay, so the Itza are all down there, which is a bit unfortunate. It may be more beneficial. That probably isn't more beneficial. We're going to move down here. I really want to get these boyos taken care of. Now, down over here, we need level three. I can't afford it, nor is our growth uh, exceptional. Let's do growth, and then we'll upgrade our dwarf twinker, their twinkers, a dwarf tinkers shop, and then we can go down into here and see what else we can do. Banner ruin runes. Well, we've only got seventy five gold, so it's not something that we can really, really harp on like I would love to. Yeah, no, we're going to have to get some more oath, uh, oath Gold. That's one thing we need to work on. Wow! Uh, I will just retreat. They're still saying we'll lose. I guess they do have a shoot ton of ranged units. it. Um, the Rune of Dismay causes fear. Ancestor Rune, Vigor Loss Reduction. Go after those guys. Rune of Dismay causes fear. We'll drop that into our other guy. And then Bonus versus Infantry. We'll throw him right in the middle. How do you get Oath Gold? There's various ways. Buildings, events. Mainly buildings and events. <laughs> I just got to do it. Oh, nice. And we do have... Okay. So this may not be too bad. Kind of a river crossing. Uh, and we are playing defensive. It's unfortunate that we don't have much ranged. And I think that's what's going to kill us. I think that's what's going to kill us. Now, we do have our ogre boys... Which we haven't gotten to use yet. Look at these boyos. They look pretty cool. They removed all Lord Hero Oath Gold income this update. I do believe so. I don't... Well... I want to say you still can. I'm really excited to try these guys out though. Very excited. Hopefully, they will do uh, the appropriate amount of work. Now, what we can do is we can try and draw them out a little. So I can try and flank with my uh, little piggy boys. I have no idea if that's going to work, though.
Try and make them blob up, have your miners throw their charges at them. That's a very good idea. Hopefully they're running as well. Wear thyselves out. Good old pig, bear, tiger, cab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever the crap they are. What is this? Crown of Command, unbreakable for 30 seconds. Oh, wow. That's pretty intense. Are they actually going to be smart and break up into clumps? I gum it. Okay, and then we're going to do this. And then let's get group number four. No, no, Dark Riders, nab them. Actually, no. Throw it into here. Uh, Mr. Lord. Change of plans. We're gonna blob those guys up so I can come into here. Ow! So rude. Yeah, we are getting decimated. Getting decimated. Let's not have skirmish mode on. Look how huge they are compared to these dudes. Holy freaking crap. Go after them, please. Wreck the ranged boys. Hey, there we go. That worked. Let's come over here. Just take all of these guys on, please. There we go. Go after him. Okay. So we are winning ish. I say ish. It's not guaranteed. To be quite frank, we're not holding well on that flank. But we could totally do this. If you guys can get there quickly, we can totally drop some bombos on those guys. Let's go here. The ogres aren't doing too hot, but they are holding the line for me. Which is quite nice. And then we can come into here. It's gonna be enough to hopefully move our guys. There we go. Not a ton of kills. Things are not looking good. Hey! I got it. Those don't do a whole lot of kills, do they? Or damage, does it? Come on, we gotta, we gotta capture this guy. Get into the mix. What about my ranged boyos? We got those guys. We can push that flank. Although our both of our warrior or our ogres are routing. Can you get in here and whack this boy? So they put all the infantry on this side. And then that Supreme Sorceress is kicking my butt. Not looking good. 
I almost wonder if these guys would be better served over here. You. Are you doing anything to this lord? Oh, you are. He doesn't have much left. Good. Continue to push. These guys, it's like I, I'm telling them to pursue because they I took off whatever it's called. But it's like they still won't do it. They won't... Uh, the guard mode doesn't mean jack crap to them. Which is not good. I don't really know how to... I guess I could just slap there. I mean, I don't really know how to use this unbreakable ability. Oh. Yeah, guys, come back. We need to push. I feel like these guys are close to breaking, but maybe not as much as I think. Let's get those Dark Riders with the repeater crossbows. Also, screw Dark Elves. They just have so much ranged. We got to start focusing more on the ranged game. Uh, I feel like that's absolutely crucial. So if that means bringing all of our guys back and rearming them with... Let's actually fall back and rearming them with uh, more ranged combat. I think that'd be a good idea. We need to come around backside. We need to get those sisters of slaughter. There we go. Killer. Please kill her. Enemy Lord is dead. Fantastic. That's exactly what we needed to have happen. Uh, let's go. Let's hang out. We can have a good defensive ranged line. I don't know how these guys are going to do though. Can't route. I'm not going to let you. Let's move along there. Simple the way it works. You got to go to the recycle tab in your drawer forge and click the button to upgrade the crown of command to something with an actual use. <laughs> Mom. Why are you in this mode? Both of their lords are dead. So I'm not too terribly sure how they have... The, uh... The morale... To continue to punish me like this. Let's go after the sisters. Well, let's get those Black Guard of Nagarond. Come on, boys. Yeah, that Crown of Command is, uh, is pretty lackluster. Pretty lackluster. This is a time where you have guard stance. Come on, just route for good, please. Those guys are going to be a problem. There we go. I think he can handle himself. I think he's actually doing a pretty daggum good job. 
We now need to focus on these dark shards. No! Hold the line! Stay with me! Oh, shoot. Go after the sisters! Haha! -ha. Do the sisters, are they just, uh, are they just not able to be routed? Remaining arrow counts in their favor on the balance. Yeah. Well, it's slightly. See, that's what I just don't understand. Like, their, their, their lady chick's gone. Both. I've killed two of their heroes. I technically should be ahead of things because he's not going anywhere. Kill the sisters. See, I feel like, ah, oh, it's gonna be so freaking close. See if we can't route those other guys. Sisters are really good. They have huge melee defense to get buffs when losing combat. Well, that's just not fair. And all these guys can do is just, uh, ah, oh, crap, my, my lord. Yep, there we go. They just had too much ranged. I feel like we could have taken them if we had had more ranged. Well, there's an entire army gone. Dang it. All right, well, now we know what we need to do. So, we will uh, we will continue to do it. Shoot fire. The other positive is that uh, it's unlikely they will be able to, I think the Sentinel of Time has a pretty decent garrison. Uh, it's decent, it's not the best. I don't think they'd be strong enough. Yeah, I made really good use of their magic. Yeah. Yep, nope, that's a very, very good point. Defeat the following army, we get Battle Masters and 30 Oath Gold. Raid any region of the Dark Elves. We also kill, so we killed two of their, their people. All right, so the Sentinel of Time. We should have made more melee focused stuff here. Let's do this. These guys aren't good for jack crap. Uh, Satum. Sabatum. And then these guys are good as well. Let's go this way, good old Thoric. Giant Slayer. And then, let's see, we can do an upgrade. Absolutely we can. Let's go ahead and expand. Well, that's going to be 16 turns until we can upgrade. Let's do this, and we'll, we'll expand a little bit with those guys. Make another army in here. We can see... I was about to say, I'd be really surprised if they went in and tried to conquer me. We might be able to push. We might be able to push a piece with these guys because while they do have several things, I feel like conquering this region is now the priority. We need to conquer some more stuff from them in order for that to work. Let's go. 
I don't like all those guys being there. One single bit. We'll get interlocking shields. Here we go. So we can go down. Is he a tier 3? Oh, they are tier 3. Awesome. We're going to go this way. And then I might as well just recruit a lord. Character R, leadership effect. Strong. He'd be a really good one. A rune lord. Weapon master. Let's go with the weapon master. We can only recruit those guys, so we won't do anything. Uh, we can get some legendary units. However, we'll go ahead and drop that bad boy. And then they're just going to recruit right back up. Fan friggin' tastic. Love it. Let's go this way. Lots of big boys there. This is saying we would only lose four units. Why is Icky Claw hanging out south of your city? I don't know. I can't answer that. Let's, uh... I thought he had... Lightning Strike. Of course. Just, why not? It only works when you attack. I guess that makes sense. Oh crap, this isn't a freaking walled city. Son of a biscuit. Yes, we will for sure lose. Daggummit, I kept... <sighs> Unwalled minor settlements are bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm calling it. I know I don't swear a lot. Um, But... That's kind of the stupidest thing that Creative Assembly could have done with Warhammer. Sorry for the swearing. But I call it. Call it like I see it. So they're in there. Go right there. Let's uh, attack those guys. Kill an in-game character. I'm, I'm about to. <laughs> At least Ikid is putting in the effort in regards to that in-game affair. <laughs> That's true. I forgot about that. Oh, shoot. Funny. What are you guys doing? I don't want you to be skirmishing. <sighs> That's frustrating. We would have had a chance. I honestly wouldn't have put that Rune Lord there if I had remembered that uh this was an unwalled settlement oh it's led by loki himself also didn't realize that hopefully in warhammer 3 they fix that from the sounds of it they are but i don't see why you couldn't just fix it anyways in warhammer 2. that's part of the issue that i have with uh the warhammer series is that any changes they make aren't uh, retroactive into previous games. Beat the following lord, yeah. Always our best. Okay, let's go... Ruination. Oh, snap. Okay, cool. Let's, uh... Come 
this is doom. We lose them in like two turns. One turn. Why am I am I seriously out of oh, son of a biscuit? Rage. Regiment to renown the Grumbling Guard. Let's go. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Ammunition plus 10, ammunition plus 10. Missile strength. Giants, Slayers, Giant Slayers, Hammers, and Iron Breakers. Missile strength for Grudge Lures, Cannon, and Organ Guns. Nah. I'm good. Let's go ahead and repair that for an arm and a leg. What do we got here? An Oxel? That's where we need to... Okay, let's recruit... Tough. This dude. Still can't do anything. No worries about that. Go and pump that up. Nothing else we can do. Fantastic. Fan friggin' tastic. Am I the only salty boy that the new free LC Dawi isn't Spine of Sotek Lord? I think it's just you. Admittedly, I'm not super knowledgeable about lore. Oh, it's just Go Trix and Felix. Uh, but I'm not. I don't have any grumblings about it. Spinosotech Dawi starts in Lustria. Oh, I think. Did we not confederate with those guys? Who did we confederate? You confederate with someone right from the get go. How you doing, Ingram? Go down here. So that's good that we don't lose this entire army. I was afraid we would. And then I'd be really, really salty. But uh, we're fine. Cannot build the settlement is under siege. That's right. I should be able... Sweet, we got those guys. Let's go here. Oh, we got to upgrade. Can't upgrade because I don't have enough money. Simple as that. Let's go with... You just wanted someone down there. Well, you do. I mean, Spina Sotex right here. I think you confederate with them. Hey, Zeus. How's your campaign? How's you feeling about the dwarf rework? I like uh, the dwarf rework a whole bunch. Uh, it'd be interesting to play them in the. I don't think I want to upgrade that. I don't think we will. I want to make sure that I can get these guys. But, uh... I don't know if they changed the tech tree or not. It's been uh, too long since I've played the Dawi. To be honest. Is it harder to play in Mortal Empires? I wouldn't say it's harder. But, uh, Mortal Empires just has the storyline. That I like. Do you feel any different from the original tech tree? I don't know. Like I said, I don't I don't know what was in the original one. It's been I haven't played uh the Dawi since uh Warhammer 1. 